Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Middleware Technologies. Today we'll be looking at how we can enable audit logging in Elasticsearch. Okay, so let me uh, go into my documentation. So basically what is audit logging? So audit logging is a way to keep track of all the security, security related events like uh, any failures in the authentication or any access grant failures or uh, like we have any uh, connection with user errors or any uh, like uh, any events related to permissions uh, which are not granted uh, will be coming under the events of auditing okay so that is what exactly we are going to do in this uh, video wherein we will be enabling uh, the the e uh, audit logging events uh, to be captured in elastic search uh, by setting a parameter in the cluster okay so so i'm working on a fedora 37 server with docker and docker compose installed okay so there are two types of uh, audit log settings that we can do in Elasticsearch. okay so one is the static uh, audit setting and the other one is the dynamic audit setting okay so static audits, uh, audit settings uh, can be carried out uh, in elasticsearch.yaml file which is the main configuration file uh, for Elasticsearch. okay so we can set the parameters for auditing uh, in this uh, elasticsearch.yaml file which is present in the uh, elastic search home directory okay uh, for dynamic audit settings uh, we basically uh, can uh, work on these settings using a rest api crawl uh, which is provided by elastic search okay uh, so we need to make sure that these settings are updated on both the clusters okay uh, uh, basically all the clusters uh, cluster nodes which are available in the cluster okay so let us say like if i am having a three node cluster setup uh, we need to ensure that these settings are carried out uh, on all the three nodes of the cluster okay so that is one thing we need to keep note of okay so currently uh, like i'm using a docker solution like i'm using the docker compost file in order to set up my elastic search and kibana file so if we are using the docker solution uh, basically uh, the static auditing uh, settings can be done using the environment variable uh, which is passed to the container okay so we will be using this uh, method to enable the auditing in Elasticsearch cluster okay so let me go into my pro uh, documentation procedure okay so as a first step we need to ensure that our docker and docker compost is installed on our system okay so i have my uh, machine uh, uh, on which elastic search uh, i'm going to uh, set up so let me check my docker service so i have my docker uh, installed and docker compose installed okay so i have my uh, docker and docker compose installed which is uh, which we are going to use for running the elastic search cluster okay so let me check my service whether it is up and running so i'm just starting up the, my service uh, looks like it is not up okay let me check the status now okay so now it is up and running so we have uh, docker and docker compose installed and set up uh, in our system okay so as a second step we need to make sure the uh, color uh, the memory max kernel parameter is set so this uh, parameter linux kernel parameter uh, defines the maximum count of mem mem map memory regions that are allowed in the systems okay so this is the parameter that we need to set in the following file so let me go into my server so as you can see like i have already set this parameter uh, and uh, in order to reload this uh, color kernel para parameter settings we need to do sudo sysctl minus p okay so this will load our parameter so now we have set the kernel parameter in our second step let us go into our third step uh, which is 
setting up the environment uh, environment file so basically as i said like i'm going to use the docker compose file so for that like we are going to pass some set of parameters uh, through an environment variable uh, through an environment property file uh, which we are going to create in our local uh, directory okay so this so let me go into my shell so here uh, i have created a dot env file so basically it carries the password for elasticsearch cluster uh, uh, super user the kibana user and the version of the elastic which we want to install and the cluster name okay and i am going to use the license as trial because basically auditing feature is uh, available only in the uh, paid version of elasticsearch and in order to use it uh, uh, for trial purpose we need to enable the license trial or we need to purchase a subs uh, subscription for uh, from elasticsearch okay but uh, right now like we are just do doing a demo so i'm going to use the trial uh, uh, subscription of elasticsearch to get this going okay and we are going to use the following uh, port for elasticsearch uh, wherein we, we will be able to uh, carry out the rest api calls and the kibana port will be 5601 wherein we will be able to launch the kibana portal okay and the memory limit uh, it is basically uh, set for uh, the docker containers to utilize okay so this is all we need to set in our env file so now we have created our uh, the uh, environment file with license to trial okay so let us go into our next step that is creating a docker compose file so basically uh, i'm taking a default docker compose file from the elasticsearch documentation okay and uh, we are going to update so let me go into my docker compose file so this is a default uh, docker compose file that we uh, get it from the elastic search documentation and here like i'm going to uh, update on each node so this is a service related to uh, each node on which elastic search uh, is going to be run so on year zero one we are going to enable this parameter which is security audit enabled expat dot security dot audit dot enable which needs to be set to true so this same parameters uh, we need to set in other elastic search uh, nodes also like uh, we have es02 node on which we have set this to true and es03 on which set the, uh, here also we have set this parameter to to true okay so this is how like we need to set uh, that parameter uh, as the environment variable in docker compose file So now that we have our Elasticsearch Docker Compose file ready, we can launch it using the Docker Compose command. Okay. So on in our step five, like we are going to launch our Elasticsearch and Kibana services using the Docker Compose command. Okay. So let us start our Docker Compose uh, like Docker services using Docker Compose. So this is going to take some time let us uh, give it a minute to start up the services okay so now our docker service uh, elastic search and kibana services are up and running so we can verify it using docker ps so we have three elastic search clusters and one kibana uh, cluster nodes and one kibana service node which is up and running okay so you can also verify using uh, curl command so i have my ip address so let me try with localhost okay so 
this is my cluster which is up and running so we have kibana and uh, we can verify kibana also so let me open my browser and we can launch our kibana on pass 601 port this is my ip address so you can log in with elastic user for which we have set the password in .env file okay so now we have our elastic search cluster running so uh, as i said like we have set the parameter uh, uh, for enabling the auditing in environment variable of the docker compose file so now we can verify the logs uh, using docker compose logs and see if we have audit logs enabled or not okay so as you can see like we have all these logs which are enabled uh, which uh, provide uh, uh, information related to the events that are occurring in the Elasticsearch cluster so let me tail my logs and try to do a failed authentication So you can see like this is a audit event wherein uh, anonymous access is denied so this has been captured uh, which I was trying to uh, do with uh, my test user ID okay so this is how uh, like uh, the audit events uh, uh, get captured in the elastic search cluster uh, when we set the parameter uh, in the environment variables also uh, let me show you so if you go into audit search uh, elastic search guide audit logging So as you can see like we have seen already the, uh, this log uh, which gets captured uh, but I wanted to show you okay so let us go into the configuration elastic search in this we go for audit auditing settings so here like you can see like we can include or exclude uh, a set of events that we want to capture using the following parameters in our environment variables okay so we can set this parameter uh, to uh, some of these uh, events so that only those events are getting captured in the logs and others are ignored okay so you can go through this documentation uh, which is provided by Elasticsearch uh, to in order to uh, find uh, find control your auditing events okay so this is all i wanted to show you in this video uh, thank you all thanks for watching this video and you guys have a great day